hello python programmers now this is the video second of a python basics marathon series for beginners we are gonna cover these three topics here which is python fundamentals then simple input and output of python which is input keyword and print keyword then we'll see some of the problems which are related to these basic concepts so first let's come to the python fundamentals now the smallest individual unit of any program is called a token now the token can be classified into these five types first is a keyword then identifiers third is literal fourth is operator and fifth is punctuators now let's see one by one what they all mean now keyword can be described as special or reserved word in any programming language now we can say that if we are writing if or else or while in a program we mean something special on that like if you are using while we are creating a loop there if you are using else we are providing a condition there we cannot just assign something to these uh, keywords here so this is what a keyword is a keyword is a special word which has a special meaning there now you cannot use them as a variable or what we call them as identifiers which we'll discuss in our next section so let's come to identifiers identifiers are what we call sometime as names now we name our functions we name our variables we name our classes etc etc strings or anything the name which we give to anything is called an identifiers now we have certain rules to create an identifiers like if you must have seen my previous video let me show you a sample code so that you can see that what are the identifiers and what are keywords here now this is the face recognition uh, program which i was writing so here you can see this t is an identifier and this while is a keyword here while is having a specific meaning or a special meaning that we cannot change and t is a identifier and we can assign the value accordingly so let's come back to our slide and now let's see what are the rules for creating an identifiers first it should not be a keyword very straight and simple we have seen in the previous slide that a keyword has special meaning so we cannot assign a keyword to a identifier then the first character must be a letter and underscore counts as a character then the digit can be used in between but not at the first position then python is case case sensitive and what i mean by case sensitive is capital a and small a are different like let me give you an example like this a b c is not equal to capital a b c you're getting my point right and then the special characters like these are not allowed as an identifier now i can see in this program my check frame and this t first frame and face cascade all are identifiers here now in all of them the first one is a character i haven't used any numbers or special character here and here you can see we haven't used any special character in between also okay 
so now let's quickly jump to our next next token which is literal or value now if we are creating a name or an identifier you want something to be feed in that like if this t is a variable or an identifier then this zero is a value and this is what that value is literals of value now the value are of these four types strings anything which is written under single inverted comma double inverted commas and triple inverted commas are treated as a string you can write anything inside these commas and these and they will be treated as strings now numerical literals as you know that numbers these are of four types integer long integer float and complex now integer and long integer is not that very different the only difference is that in integer we have a limit and in long integer the limit of storing or limit of numerical value is very high i haven't really used this long integer i think so this will be used in astronomy or something <laughs> but i haven't used this long integer but uh, you should know that these things exist here then there is flows uh, then there is float which is the point value like 7.8 or something like that the all decimal values are the float values then the last one is complex numbers which means if you have studied maths then you must be familiar with this thing ai plus b where a is the imaginary part and b is the real part here so this is what complex numerical means and the third one is boolean boolean is simply zero or one or true and false now the now in python we have a special character called none or in other language we also know that by null here now the next token is operator now operator are the tokens that trigger some computational actions like you want some actions to be performed on your variable on your data then you use these operators here now let's see that how many operators are there we have four operators first one is arithmetic operation where we have addition subtraction multiplication and remainder or module and exponent etc in bitwise we have and or zor etc in shiftwise operators we have these one like these shift operators we'll discuss in our next video that how can we use them but uh, till now you just need to know that these thing exist here and in logical operators we use the logical operations like less than equal to greater than and something like that so the last token is the punctuator now these are used to organize the sentence or a structure okay so now let's come to the second part of this video where we'll see what are the simple input and output in python let's open a cmd so that we can practically see that now if we want to take input from the user then what we'll simply do is we'll create a variable which is a identifier i'm recalling it from the 
python basics then we'll write input which is a keyword and we'll write something uh, hello what is your name something like that so here you can see if you were slightly confused in the python basics that how the things are working on let's see with this example here this x is an identifier this input is a keyword and inside this is the string now let's execute this line hello what is your name my name is Harshit now if I print this uh, variable here what I will get is my name which I have entered so this was a simple input method using Python and this was the output using Python now you can see this was the simple input using Python this input command here in Python 2 we also have a raw input option but in Python 3 we don't have that if you still want to see some of you must have used Python 2 so you must be wondering that oh we have that raw input in Python 2 why not in Python 3 so let me show you that we are not having a raw input in our Python 3 here you can see raw input is not defined so raw input have been removed from the from the python 3 it was it is still present in python 2 but not in python 3 and i'll be focusing on python 3 only so this input is the keyword which is used to take the input from the user and this print will show the output to the user now we'll come to the last section of our uh, video here where we'll solve some of the basic questions now what I will do here is I will give a problem statement to you you can pause the video there solve it by yourself and then if you are not able to get the output you can come back to the video and see the solution here so the first question is you need to obtain three numbers and just print their sum okay so just stop the video here try it by yourself it and if you are not able to do i'll solve that for you okay so uh, i assume that you have tried a lot but you are not able to find the output so let me do that for you i'll open the cmd write python here we'll create two variable integer input now you must be wondering that why I have written this integer here I have written so because by default the input is taken at as string it will add those number as a string but not as an integer so we are saying to python that the input we are taking is a integer so this is my first input let's make it one then the same here let's change the variable let's save two, 2 in this then let's take another variable z and let's save 3 in this now we'll create another variable q and in this we'll add all these three numbers x y and z let's print our q variable I can see 6 3 2 and 1 adds up to 6 
so this was a very simple question so the next question for you is you need to ask the user for the length and breadth of a rectangle and calculate the area now if you don't know the formula of how to calculate the area of a triangle it is length into breadth simple so just pause the video do it by yourself okay so now i'm really amazed if you are not able to solve this one also but you're a beginner and it happens with all so let me explain that also we'll create a let's take these two variables only x and y let this x be length and y be breadth so what we'll simply do is we'll write area as a variable and then we'll multiply these two numbers x into y and if we print area we'll get our answer because 1 into 2 is 2 okay so this is it for this video this was about the introduction for the python fundamentals if you are not able to get entirely how this thing works then don't worry because i'll be creating an entire dedicated video for each string and list and all of them so that you can clearly get an idea of how the things work so don't worry just move on practice and in the link i'll give you a pdf in which there will be a few questions which you can solve and practice your basics there so i'll meet you in the next lecture bye bye